facing a player of his caliber? Um, yeah, I think it, it, it's pretty common when you play against teams um, that they're going to have a DP 10 or 9. You know, we sort of face it every week, so we put a focus on it, we analyse, we, we scout the opposition, and then we prepare the team for it. It's difficult. Individual moments are individual moments, so you can see the quality of the guy, but, you know, like you say, we limited him to moments of affecting the game, but with the quality these guys have, you know that individual ability can take over at times. Michael, Alan? Hi, Coach. Uh, Michael Allen, Post America. Um, the team came up faster tonight, playing faster, getting more advanced and forward. Um, just wondering your thoughts on where you are in the process, and is a draw a fair result for tonight? Um, I feel like we should win the game, but I, I, but I'm a realist. They are the, they are chances as well. I just went through all the chances. I think their chances are. I think our chances are bigger. You know, we're we're against the goalkeeper and we're creating moments that you know we can get the second goal. Where are we in the process? Um, in this current moment, really frustrated and you know really disappointed and. Um, the fact that we feel like this draw is a is a it feels like a loss, right? Um, is testament to our fans and our football club and the expectations that we have. Um, where are we in the process? Yeah, I'm content with where we are in the process. I'm not content with league position and points, but you know we took the game to Atlanta tonight. There's only one team trying to win the game. We, you know, live at a football team that want to play to a lot of direct balls and a lot of you know winning second balls and the chances come off a set play and um, you know you see the goal. It's a poor goal, but it's from the you know a long punt from the goalkeeper. So um, our defensive side of the game is creating those goal chances. Our in possession moments or creating those goal chances. It's just that chemistry and that click that we're waiting for that fortune now that's going to give us the moments because, you know, the players are working incredibly hard. The players are, you know, really hungry and really thirsty to really get that moment that clicks. And, you know, I think you can see that in the moments when they're really pushing the game and pushing the game and pushing the game. And, you know, you're in the locker room, you can see the frustration in the guys. Juan Carlos? Hi, Coach. Thank you for the time. Juan Carlos in Paris Sports. Just wanted to ask you about Bakar. You know, tonight was also a tough uh, game where he missed a few chances, but, you know, you kind of start to see his frustration a bit. So have you spoke, spoken to him, you know, about the situation right now? Yeah, I, I, uh, I consistently communicate with Munsef around this situation because I think it's common mm. for a lot of number nines to go through a period where they... They maybe don't score as many goals as they feel they should, or maybe where they they have a huge desire to score. You know, Tati went through this in 2021 and ended up with the Golden Boot and you know the championship. And I don't say that's going to happen. I'm a realist, but at the same time, I can guarantee you that Munsef Bakro is going to score goals. He just needs that little moment and that little bit of fortune. And you know, in this moment now in the dressing room, he'll feel frustrated and he'll feel uh, emotional because of the maybe the feelings that he gets, but. You know, the best number nines just keep putting themselves in the situation and you just have to keep plugging away, use the training pitch, use the video, you know, try and clear your mind because um, I do remember the goal that Tati scored after the drought at Yankee Stadium, if you can remember it. And it wasn't a real quality goal chance where it, it's one of those that just bounces off the shin pad and goes in the goal, the rebound. and. Um, it's going to come for him. I'm, I'm almost certain. That's why I didn't take him off tonight, because I'm going to continue to put him into the moment, because his work rate and his desire and his talent and potential is uh, really, really high. Final one, Daniel. Coach, um, Daniel from City Boys. Um, wanted to ask you, I noticed you started great today and you played really well. I just wanted to kind of get your thoughts on how great played and his and the quality that he had out there today. Uh, I think we know what we get with Tavon. Tavon had a little injury in pre-season which gave Micha the opportunity. We know the talent that Micha has. I think if you look at most teams, they have two players that are really fighting for certain positions and we have that at right back. Um, I think Micha's a young player. There's no way he's going to play 34 games at high level every week. That's not not how it works with young players. So we decided to take Meacher out tonight and put Tavon in. I thought Tavon showed himself in the Miami game. He was strong. His defensive game is really strong. And, you know, because of the injury and he didn't play so much in preseason, he has a huge desire to get back in the team. 
Um, so we put him in, and yeah, I agree. You know, I know what I get from Tavon. He's a top defender. He has a real confidence and a real... Um, you know, he wants to assert himself in the game, and I, I thought he played well tonight. I think it's difficult as a fullback when you're attacking the game as much as we were. It's difficult to get up and down, so we went with Meacher, and I thought, um, you know, Meacher improved us. He gave a few moments, so Tavon's good. Meacher's pushing. It's going to be a challenge for those two. Great. Thank you feel today, and what yeah. the environment it was like overall to be able to be back in the New York area. Yeah, no, it was very exciting. You know, we started with a few away games, but to be back home at City Field in Queens, the energy is always good. Fans are always uh, close to the field, so it was nice to see everybody again. I'm lucky with the result, but hopefully we can keep going. What did you think that you and the team did well in the first half that maybe you could try to translate to for future matches? Yeah, first of all, I think Matt played really well throughout the game, made a lot of big saves, so, as he's been doing the past few games. But I think we just did a really good job be, being compact, creating some good chances that hopefully we can capitalize, capitalize on next time and go from there. Now that you guys are back in the New York area, do you think that you could build up on the momentum a little bit if you guys do well? And yeah, no, it, it's massive for us to play at home, I think. We have an advantage over other teams. The atmosphere from the fans is always great. Even when results haven't been going our way, you know, the fans are always behind us, supporting us, and that always helps.